2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Rate First Test, Exploring Electrifying Acceleration and Efficiency The Corvette team, well-versed in market sentiments regarding hybrids and electric vehicles, especially in the context of hybrid and all-electric Corvettes, has conducted comprehensive market research. They acknowledge the inevitability of addressing evolving consumer preferences and government regulations. In response, they have strategically positioned their inaugural hybrid model, the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray, not just as an eco-friendly vehicle but also as a performance-oriented one, successfully achieving both objectives. Highlighting Z06, level performance, Chevrolet has pledged that the E-Ray will outpace the Z06, marking itself as the fastest factory-built Corvette in terms of acceleration. However, our tests did not confirm this assertion. The E-Ray matched the Z06 acceleration, reaching 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds and completing the quarter mile in 10.6 seconds at 128.0 miles per hour. The Z06 ultimately surpasses the E-Ray with a faster finish at 131.6 miles per hour, leveraging its lighter weight and higher horsepower to overcome the E-Ray's torque and traction advantage during launch. Pros Z06 Speed Z06 handling, all season capability, cons, fake electric motor noise, can't activate EV modes while engine is running, not quite as quick as promised. Undoubtedly, the E-Ray bears additional weight compared to the Z06 with this mid-grade trim, even equipped with the performance options and $13,995 carbon fiber wheels. Tipping the scales at 3,912 pounds, 261 pounds heavier than the lightest Z06 tested. This weight increase is attributed to the electric motor on the front axle and the 1.9 kilowatt hours of batteries positioned in the tunnel between the seats. Despite the added heft, the E-Ray achieves a marginally improved weight distribution of 42% front and 58% rear, compared to the Z06 4060 distribution. Additionally, the E-Ray features Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, foregoing the stickier Cup 2 rupees available on the Z06. While the front axle's extra weight and traction enhance the launch performance, they don't entirely eliminate we spin at the rear. Fine-tuning the launch RPM became a meticulous process, although it proved more manageable than on any rear-drive Corvette. Burnout mode, temporarily deactivating the front axle for tire warm-up proved both helpful and entertaining. In terms of pricing comparison, the E-Ray outpaces the best Stingray tested, achieving a 0.2 second advantage in the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint and a 0.9 second advantage in the quarter mile. The increased weight becomes evident in braking performance, with the E-Ray requiring 103 feet to stop from 60 miles per hour, four feet more than the Z06, but one foot less than the Stingray. The additional pounds also affect cornering, with the E-Ray managing an average lateral G of 1.10 on the skid pad, slightly trailing the Z06 1.12. On the figure 8, the Z06 establishes a notable lead with a 21.9 second lap at 0.99 average G compared to the E-Ray's 22.5 second lap at 0.95 average G. This performance gap highlights the E-Ray and Z06 distancing themselves from the Stingray, which achieved a 1.04G average on the skid pad and a 23.3 second figure 8 lap at 0.90 average G. Please note that all the outcomes mentioned were achieved using the recommended track alignment for Corvettes by Chevy, which is known to result in faster tire wear. These specialized tires cost approximately $2,200 per set before taxes, so it's advised to choose your alignment carefully. Approaching Z06, Level Driving Experience If you're familiar with driving a Stingray equipped with the Z51 Performance Package, as we extensively have, distinguishing the E-Ray from its non-hybrid, rear-drive counterpart is nearly impossible until you push it to its limits. During casual driving, there's no discernible difference in feel or sound. However, when pushed to its extremes, the electric motor becomes evident in multiple ways. Although the electric motor operates constantly, you won't sense any extra acceleration from the front axle until you truly floor it. It's only when it contributes over 100 horsepower to the front wheels that the E-Ray starts to feel significantly quicker and more powerful than a Stingray. 
At full throttle, it begins to resemble a Z06, albeit with the classic pushrod soundtrack of a Stingray instead of the Z06 deep and exotic whale. When both the engine and the motor deliver their maximum output, the E-Ray exhibits a truly supercar-like quickness. For those who appreciate the traditional engine sound, the E-Ray serves as an excellent substitute for the Z06 until you hit the accelerator, an artificial high-pitched electric motor whine is piped in through the speakers. While it's understandable that Chevy wants to provide an audible signal that the E-Ray is something special, it remains unclear why there isn't an option to disable this feature. Another instance where the electric motor's influence is felt is when accelerating out of a corner. It's not so much torque steer as a resistance in the steering wheel as you straighten it out. It resembles tramlining to some extent, but the bite and pull from the front end convey a tangible benefit. Likewise, the ERA truly embodies the spirit of a Z06 when pushed to its limits. Carry high speed into a corner with substantial lateral forces, and the car reveals its true nature when you add even a hint of extra steering lock, inducing understeer. Surprisingly, the E-Ray turns even tighter and generates more lateral G-forces. After experiencing this for the first time, a deeper appreciation for the car develops, prompting you to push its limits further. It responds well to trail braking, and if you exceed the limits at corner exit, it exhibits power over steer, albeit less aggressively than rear-drive Corvettes. In a full-on drift, it's easier to control, displaying less inclination to snap loose compared to other models. While most cars prefer to grip and straighten out, the E-Ray allows you to dial in as much drift angle as desired, rather than attempting to swap ends like its counterparts. It's effortlessly eco-friendly. Despite not always feeling it, the electric motor is more active than one might assume. Cruising down the highway, the E-Ray resembles a Stingray but with improved fuel efficiency. A driver familiar with the Stingray will quickly notice that the E-Ray spends more time in V for cylinder deactivation mode, thanks entirely to the electric motor. On level stretches and even slight inclines, you can apply a considerable amount of throttle before the remaining four cylinders kick in, with the front axle seamlessly compensating for the difference. This offers an opportunity to savor the deep burble of an unconventional engine configuration, reminiscent of the idling sound of an Alfa Romeo 4C or Fiat 500 Abarth when cruising at low RPM in V for mode. That's about as close to a conventional hybrid as you can get with the E-Ray. While it features a well-functioning automatic engine stop-start system, which provides the novel experience of hearing the engine restart repeatedly during a drive, the E-Ray won't completely shut off the engine while in motion. Although it offers EV modes, utilizing them is unnecessarily complex. These modes can only be engaged when the car is stationary and turned off requiring you to remember to turn the drive mode knob before pressing the engine start button, otherwise, it won't activate. Only then can you drive the E-Ray on electrons for a few miles, but this feature is limited to speeds under 45 miles per hour. It's useful for discreetly leaving the neighborhood, but less so for a quiet return. Nonetheless, it Thanks marks a positive watching. initial stride. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.